Hi, I'm John Gallon. Shelley Moscatelli. And Heather Flaherty. We're Personal Lines Client Success Managers at Berry Insurance. We've issued hundreds of personal umbrella policies over the past few decades. Plus, we all have umbrella policies ourselves. Right, guys? Oh, yeah. I wouldn't be able to sleep at night knowing my family wasn't protected. So today, we'll be answering some common questions that will help you understand if umbrella insurance is something you need and what it is like to get a policy with us. Umbrella insurance supplements your existing liability coverages, such as auto, homeowners, renters, and condo insurance. It offers an extension of your existing coverages. Umbrella insurance covers the costs of damages or legal defenses that come from incidents leading to property damage or injury if you are found liable for damages beyond what your underlying policies will cover. For example, if you cause a car accident that results in someone's death and are sued for $1 million, but your auto insurance only covers $500,000, the umbrella policy covers the remaining $500,000. Umbrella insurance also extends coverage on personal injury, which covers you if you're sued for libel or slander. If you own a home, rent, and have an auto policy, it's a good idea to purchase an umbrella policy. We would definitely recommend an umbrella insurance policy if, if you have any of these exposures. Board of a nonprofit, frequently have parties, have a trampoline, have pets, a swimming pool, additional vehicles, watercrafts, snowmobiles, ATVs, go-karts, jungle gyms, play sets, swing sets, investment properties, significant savings, or assets. The reason we recommend umbrella insurance to almost everyone is because if you are ever faced with a large claim, it might not be entirely covered under your existing auto, home, renters, or condo limits. That would mean you'd be stuck paying out of pocket to cover the claim. However, if you have an umbrella insurance policy, it would cover the excess portion of the claim so you wouldn't have to pay out of pocket. We think that most clients' assets, such as a car or a home, should have a policy. But there are cases when an umbrella insurance policy probably isn't right for you. If you don't have assets, you probably don't need an umbrella insurance policy. For example, if you live in a nursing home or don't own a car, we wouldn't recommend an umbrella insurance policy. And even if you want an umbrella insurance policy, there may be some cases where you don't qualify. If you have a poor driving record, or someone on your policy has a poor driving record, or have had a liability claim on your home, you probably won't be able to get an umbrella insurance policy. Once your driving record improves or your claims drop off your insurance history, you may be eligible. In all our years working as insurance agents, we have not seen many umbrella insurance claims, but it is incredibly easy to have one. If someone is injured at your home, your teen driver causes an accident, or even if you were sued for a slander or libel accusation, these situations could bring your umbrella insurance into play. Here are some specific examples of what umbrella insurance claims can look like. Two boys were playing with BB guns. One was shot. A 12-year-old suffered lacerations when he walked by a neighbor's house and was bit by two dogs. A man improperly installed a diving board, which resulted in a serious injury to the home's new owner. A teenager hit a parked car, causing his passengers to suffer serious head injuries. A great time to buy an umbrella policy is if you're old enough to have an auto and a home or a renter's policy. Other good times are when you're purchasing a home, buying more property, adding a new driver, getting a trampoline, installing a pool, having children, or getting a new pet. Basically, once you have assets, it's a great time to consider an umbrella insurance policy. $1 million policy runs between $175 to $400 a year. Every time you increase your limits by $1 million, your policy increases by a lower percentage. For example, a $2 million policy might only cost 1.8 times the cost of a $1 million policy rather than double. A $3 million policy might cost 2.55 times the $1 million policy, and a $10 million policy might cost 8.9 times the $1 million policy. More than one exposure can cause rates to increase. 
the more autos, drivers, inexperienced drivers, renters, boats, recreational vehicles, and additional properties added to your policy, the higher your umbrella policy could get. You can reduce your premium if you remove any exposures or someone in your household comes out of the inexperienced operator category. purchase a personal umbrella insurance policy, you should get in touch with your agent. Many agents will offer the umbrella policy with your home, renters, or auto policy. An agent will typically ask if you have any exposures, such as trampoline, dogs, a boat, teen drivers, or any additional property. You wanna work with us? That's great. The first thing you need to do is get in touch with us by calling us, sending us an email, or filling out a form on our website. We will reach out to you to set up a time to chat. Once we go over your exposures, we'll find the best quotes for you and present you with the right option. Ready to get your personal umbrella insurance policy? Click the link below to set up a time to chat with us. Looking to learn more about insurance? Be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. For every subscriber, Shredder and Ryder get 100 belly rubs. Personal umbrella is an important coverage. That is why you should always work with an agent you feel comfortable with. Make sure you're picking an agent that will advocate for you and educate you on your policy. Thanks for watching this video. By now you should know if personal umbrella insurance is right for you and what it will be like if you work with all of us. Have a great day.